of the East rolls on. Game two, just about ready to tip off. Playoff basketball on 2K Sports. Chris Weber's joining us at the broadcast table alongside Greg Anthony and David Aldridge on the sideline. This is Kevin Harlan. Hey, Dave. Well, guys, Kemba Walker is a multiple-time All-Star. But from his first seasons in the league, stardom was not assured. Even he said, I never saw myself playing at this level. There were times I didn't know if I even belonged in the NBA. I guess you could say I'm surprised. Now, Kevin, every player has those doubts at the beginning, but few overcome them the way Kemba has. David, he's come a long way. Thank you. And one injury for them. They're still pretty close to full strength, though. Missing a valued contributor, that can be a challenge. We'll see how they answer the bell. Now a look at Philadelphia's starting lineup. The tall lineup out there for the 76ers. Simmons, Richardson, Harris, Horford, and MB. And for Boston, Walker and Brown, they're manning the backcourt. Hayward at small forward with Tatum at the four. And it's Tice in at the five spot. So Philadelphia will get the first possession. On the wing, Harris. The basket good off the assist from Simmons. Uh, an aggressive move by Harris. A little contact there. He just powers through. Walker finds Tatum. Over Horford. And good. Got the angles that time as it falls. Uh, they've tailored their offense around him. And let me tell you, he loves playing in the system. On the pass to Harris. To Simmons. Shot clock at five. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. Kemba Walker picks one up. Oh, he's almost seven feet tall. Simmons is a tough guard. I mean, you got to be careful not to get too physical. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. good from Simmons. But we're growing up in Australia. Ben Simmons played lots of Australian rules football. When you watch him play, that's the toughness you see. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. About one minute into the first quarter. And Walker kicks to Hayward. Pass to Tice. On the wing, Brown. Pass to Tatum. Six to shoot. Over Horford. And Tatum with the basket on the assist by Brown. With the height, the footwork. No wonder Tatum's knocked down mid-range. About a minute and a half through the first quarter. Here's Simmons. There's Embiid. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. Oh, how about the length of Embiid? I mean, it's tough to deal with. Outstanding using it to gobble up offensive rebounds. Here's Walker. Here's Tice. That shot is off. Simmons with the defensive effort. The 76ers have gone 2 or 3 here to start out the game. Pass to Horford. Richardson outside. Fires the three. Rebounded by the Celtics. Their offense came out big in Saturday's game. And guys, they, they walked into the arena with a certain kind of swagger. And we really saw it play out on the offensive end. They looked totally in sync, GA. I mean, they knew what they wanted to accomplish. And then they went out there and did it. Now here is Harris. 
Following the miss by Kemba Walker. That one goes. Count it. Harris has got his second bucket of the night. Boy, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. Yeah, that's because he's getting his number called early. I mean, he's doing his part to help carry the offensive load. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Daniel Tice. That is his first foul of the game. Walker against Simmons. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. They've wasted no time settling into their offense. This is his second trip to the free throw line. The Celtics making a switch here. Smart's checked in. Misses for Simmons. And it's smart with the ball for the Celtics. They trail by six. Six on the shot clock. Brown outside. And it's out of bounds. Uh, they say it was last touch by Brown. The 76ers leading by six. Outside, Simmons. The pass to Harris. For the three. A three-pointer is right on target. Harris has got seven points in the game. Nice play, and you can see they're gathering momentum. Yeah, yeah, and, and Greg, they've been a more cohesive team over this stretch, and then that helps account for their lead. And now, the first time out called here for Boston. And they just can't seem to get going offensively. Yeah, they might be pressing a little. I mean, forcing some things. This is a good opportunity to calm everyone down. And here in the first quarter with a little over three and a half minutes played. Smart deciding where to go with it. Back to Tatum. They need this. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Tatum's got his third basket of the night. It, it, it's amazing. Scouts were worried that Tatum would be a streak to spot up shooter. But you see the perfect form. Richardson against Brown. Here's Harris. No good. Shot missing. Hayward with some nice D. Brown with it. And it's Richardson picking him up. Smart finds Brown. Simmons against Hayward. Lock at six. Simmons with the defensive effort. He's not an easy man to stop when he's attacking the basket. The D doing everything he can. Another shot, and the layup is up and in. Simmons got six points. Well, I like how hard he crashes the glass. Simmons knows he has the size and timing to keep possessions alive. Smart passes to Tatum, and here's Brown outside. He can't get that one, so Philadelphia will take it the other way. Here's Simmons. Off target there. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. 
down low. Here's Tatum. The shot's good. Brown making the play. And it's nine points for Jason Tatum. It's all clicked into place for him this quarter. He's not missed a single shot. Richardson outside. Outside, Simmons. For three, Harris. It's rebounded by Tice. Celtics trail by six. Right side, Smart. Let's it go from deep. Drains it from beyond the arc. Showing his race. Smart spacing the floor. Philadelphia's gone. One of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. Simmons passes to Embiid. To Simmons. Over Smart. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. Oh, he found the open space for mid-range. Just maybe rushed his release a little bit. Dishes to Hayward. And the defense really pressing up on him. Made that a tough shot. Popped up there for Embiid. An emphatic LU jam. The, the, the reach of Embiid, just fantastic. Just throw it up there. I mean, he's committed to finishing the alley -oop. Smart against Simmons. Pass to Hayward. To the middle. And slam dunk by Tatum. Did you see how Hayward just made that pass? Uh, you got to say, uh, man, he's got some vision. Outside, Simmons. Goes up on the block, and he nails the jumper. Simmons got eight points. Celtics trail by five. Smart kicks to Tice. Tatum on the wing. Five on the clock, and the rejection by Embiid. Brown against Richardson. Pass to Embiid. And here is Horford. Fires the three. Misses that one. He's 0 for 1 from the four. Passes it to Smart. The basket good off the assist from Hayward. Smart's got his second bucket of the night. And I love Smart pressing his advantage on the interior. against Richardson. Outside, Simmons. He's shooting free throws. Number four and five here. And he makes the first. So Boston going with almost an entire new group. Cantor, he's checked in for Daniel Tice. Robert Williams comes in for Tatum. Green, he's checked in for Gordon Hayward. And Brad Wanamaker subbed in for Brown. So after making the first, he goes one for two. Celtics trail by four. Here's Wanamaker. Yeah, good job to take it right after him. The Celtics shooting their initial free throws of the game right here. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. Shake Milton, he's jagged in for Simmons. Both shots good from the strike. And that's the norm for him. He's pretty much automatic when he's at the line. 
To the paint, Williams with the steal. On the wing, Green. The pass to Cannon. The shot goes down and he gets this game back to even. And that's what the pump fakes there for. Get your man off his feet and drive right around him. The 76ers have gone 50% from the field in the first quarter, 8 of 16. Here's Fiber. Another miss by Philadelphia. Green taking his time here. Pass to Wanamaker. Outside, Green. There's the triple. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. He can be sneaky good from deep sometimes. I mean, when he gets clean looks, he's got the ability to do some damage out there. Here's Feibel. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. To end the run. That shot misses. Great tee that time from Green. Smart against Burks. Makes it off the glass. Now it's a five-point Boston lead. I mean, he's got the size and the strength to finish amongst the big men. That's why he does it. Smart. Built to last in the paint. Smart against Burks. Embiid with it. The 76ers shooting their sixth and seventh free throws in the game. The first one falls. Well, it's all about the fun-loving personality of him because it's just awesome. I mean, this guy likes to have fun on and off the court. And MB drops them both. Oh, he's such a good free throw shooter. I mean, it frees him up to be as aggressive as he wants in the post. Want to make her the pass to Cannon. Outside Williams, pass to Wanamaker. Oh, good with the triple. The 76ers trail by three. Here's Burks. That one off the back iron and out. I tell you what, the defense should send Christmas cards for that miss. Now, here's Green. D right on him. Outside, Williams passes it to Green. Now, Cantor. To the inside. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Just such a physical player. Williams has no off switch, he is, which is how he gets these calls. The Celtics have had two chances at the line already, making them both. Shoot two. And that one falls for Williams. And on top of the talent, the, the physical ability, w Williams, just a coachable kid and really picks things up quickly. And he can't hit the second. The 76ers trail by four. Here's Fable. Makes no mistake on the open jump shot. And so Wanamaker will bring it up for the Boston Celtics. Now the pass to Smart. 43 seconds left to play here in the first. 
That is the perfect technique to rebound. I mean, he shields his man, kept him behind, and then he's off to the races. Kept alive. O'Quinn, he nails it, and we're tied up. Yeah, coach's pet peeve there. No box out. Oh, it's simple. When you fail to put a body on someone, you're inviting a breakdown on the defensive glass. Now here's Williams. Kicks to Smart. Goes up to the stripe. And it's O'Quinn with the rebound. Pass to Thibault. Now, here's O'Quinn with one on the clock. What a performance for Jason Tatum. He has been the story so far for the Boston Celtics. He comes away with 11 points in the quarter and is showing no signs of fatigue. Right back after this break. The game is evolving and Al Horford has changed his game along with it. It never occurred to me that I'd be shooting threes at this rate and doing some of the things that I'm doing, but um, it's just the way that the game has evolved. And give Horford credit, he adjusted with the times. He didn't stay set, Greg, in his ways. Yeah, he, he was always a great mid-range shooter, and he's proven to be a legitimate threat from deep. And glad to have you with us as we get going here in Game 2. And the Celtics guys, what jumps out to you, stance one Showing a lot of confidence in their rotation. They went right to that bench when they needed points. Credit to coaching, Jamie. Some guys wouldn't have made those substitutions in the first quarter. But now it's paying off. So to begin the second quarter for the Philadelphia 76ers, Cork Mods is out there with Kyle O'Quinn. Then there's Alec Burks. Two two. And it's Milton in at the three spot. And the first one at the line is good. Not a guy you want to foul. Walker's a tremendous free throw shooter. He does a great job of getting himself to the line. And so Walker nails both of them. The 76ers trail. Here's Thibel. Pass to Burks. There's the three. There we go. Now in the scoring column with that make, he is one for four. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Uh, we see this all too often. You have to be willing to put in the work. Now here's Williams. Passes to Green. And it's O'Quinn with the rebound. O'Quinn's got four rebounds now tonight. Bounce pass from Burks. Bible the pass to Burks. Shot clock at six. Off target from three-point range. Boston's gone three of six tonight when they've let it fly from downtown. Here's Cantor, and Cantor throws it down. Those plays can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. And, and rightfully so. Also, how lackluster was the defense right there with the score this time? Here's Fable. Here's O'Quinn. Williams with the block. The amazing thing about Williams, yeah, he, he can block shots inside, but he can also block shots out on the perimeter. His ability to play in space means he's more than just a rim protector. Doesn't care where you're shooting from. Now, here's Burks following the miss by Kemba Walker. Fires from 14. Burks' shot is good. Burks has got five points in the quarter. And he's not going to pass up that one. And trust me, he shouldn't. He's solid from that in between. And here is Williams. Here's Walker with the three. And it's O'Quinn with the rebound. O'Quinn's got six rebounds now in the game. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. I mean, it took him a long time to get into the flow of the game, but the points are starting to come for him. 
The 76ers have missed two free throws in the game, going five for seven. Tobias Harris has checked in for Philadelphia. And for those of you just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Here's Walker. That's tipped. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. Celtics trail by four. Inside. Count the bucket. And he's got a free throw coming up as well. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Austin shooting their seventh attempt at the foul line in this one. And some changes here for the Celtics. Jason Tatum, he's checked in for Williams. And Jalen Brown subbed in for Green. And that one misses. And it's Harris with the ball for Philadelphia. Their biggest lead of the game was not. And there's the foul on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. And there's the call. Foul on Boston. Oh, man. And defenders have to be more cautious when guarding Harris. He is constantly looking to draw contact on his shots. This is his first chance at the line tonight. And the first one drops. I mean, look, every year Harris looks more confident. He goes through stretches where he can dominate. Gordon Hayward's checked in for Boston. And Harris drops them both. And didn't shoot it all that well from the line in the first quarter. Doing a much better job now in the second up over 80 percent now here's Cantor he's got six back to Brown and it's blocked by Simmons but the reach of Simmons I and mean, coming into play on these blocks you got to be careful shooting around this guy and a little under three and a half minutes elapsed in the second quarter of play Pass to Burks. On the way, Harris. Another field goal for him. Four for six shooting tonight. Well, well, throughout Harris's career, he's worked on building up his body, putting that added strength to good use on these tough finishes. And it's sent back by Horford. And he's able to get it back. That's good. The Philadelphia lead is cut down now to just two on the basket from Walker. Philadelphia's gone one of three from way outside since the start of the second quarter. Horford dishes to Burks. The rebound by the Celtics. Tatum's got four rebounds in this game. They haven't needed him as much as I thought they would tonight. Here's Brown, and he hits it to tie the game up. Brown's got four this quarter. Uh, with great physical and athletic tools, Brown's adept at pushing past contact. Pass to Harris. Over Hayward. And the basket by Harris. Harris has got 13. His individual effort has been outstanding tonight. And, and it's time helped out, him out. grab the lead. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. Adjustments are a part of the game, and the coach sees something he doesn't like here. Yeah, I, I like the chess match that's going on here. Each team trying to find and, and exploit the favorable matchup on the floor.
Daniel Tice is checked in for Ennis Cantor. The 76ers also with a sub. Josh Richardson's checked in for Burks. Hayward outside. Outside, Walker. Outside, Tatum. Five to shoot. Back to Walker. Fires for three, and it's blocked by Simmons. The defense has done a good job of forcing him into a tough shot. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. It goes on Jason Tatum. The 76ers have made their free throws at a pretty good clip. They've hit 8 of 10. That free throw, no good. And the number of fouls he's drawn has resulted in a bunch of trips to the line. So even if he doesn't make them all, it still had a positive effect. He hits the second from the line. And the Celtics with possession here. Walker looking for an opening. Up and in on the way up. Walker's got six here in this quarter. They love to get Walker into that pick and roll position. Nine times out of ten, he'll make something good happen. On the wing, Harris. That one doesn't go. Great D that time from Tatum. They get a hand on it. Here's Hayward, and there's the whistle on the shot. Took the foul, shot misses. He'll be shooting two. And the foul called on the Philadelphia 76ers. This is his first free throw of the game. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Ties it up, and this next one could give them the lead. Well, he was just a skinny kid coming out of college. Hey, it was gotten much stronger and much better in a short period of time. And they now lead as the free throw drops for him. And here's Simmons. He'll bring it up for Philadelphia. Pass to Korkmaz. Beyond the arc. The offensive rebound. Harris makes that one his sixth of the night. Shooting a very healthy six for nine. This kind of hustle is why his teammates love him. Harris, nice work in getting after it on the glass. Walker the pass to Tatum. It's hauled in by the 76ers. Richardson up top. He's covered by Brown. Back to Richardson. Unable to get that one. Now Boston takes it the other way. Here's Tatum. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. That's on Ben Simmons. Uh, yeah, the footwork, the positioning. Tatum's a difficult cover inside. For Boston, they have made seven out of nine when they've stepped to the line. Shooting two. First free throw is good. Well, who could forget Jason Tatum's rookie year? I mean, in the 2018 playoffs, all he did was lead the Celtics in scoring at just 20 years old, taking Boston to Game 7 of the Conference Finals. The Celtics making a switch here. Smart's checked in. Joel Embiid, he's checked in for Philadelphia. And so Tatum nails them both. 
for Philadelphia. They've gone 6 of 14 shooting here in the set. Now the feed to Richardson. Outside, Walker. Three-pointer. Al Horford with the rebound. And he's trying to shoot his way out of it. You know, they have the lead, but honestly, I, I think it might help if he'd be a little bit more selective tonight. Here's Walker. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. You see, that's the quickness of Walker. It poses so many issues for the defense. He's an expert at getting fouled while shooting. For Boston, they have shot 9 of 11 at the free throw line. Shooting two. And that one misses. Didn't have a free throw in the first quarter, but you can see he's starting to play with more energy now. He has a tougher attitude. And he's good on the second. The 76ers trail. Now here's Simmons. Ten points for him. Passes it to Harris. From outside the arc, the basket good off the assist from Simmons. Simmons got three assists in the game. Now Walker, he has seven. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. It's stolen by Brown. And now it's Brown running. He can go all the way. A shot, no good. And the activity he shows around the rim it is why he is such a respected defender. Yeah, you can see why he's established that reputation. Strong understanding of how to defend at the rim. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. Yeah, that's why he's hot. He's playing with a lot of confidence. That's why they're going to him with such consistency. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. You look at Tobias Harris, he has really been playing well. He's running wild. They had to call a timeout just to take away at least some of his momentum. with it and it's Richardson picking him up and Walker kicks to Brown the kick out to Walker from the arc a shot's good Brown making the play Brown's got four assists now tonight well the shooter of Walker's caliber I mean you can't allow him to shoot his feet there's the pass to Simmons over Walker no good from Simmons Boston's gotten into trouble with the three ball in the second quarter. Only well, hitting one of five attempts. Walker with a clean look. And some very quick points for him on that possession. Walker's got 12 in the game. Walker against Simmons. He dishes it to Horford. On the way, Harris. He's covered by Brown. Six on the shot clock. Harris misses. And so Brown will bring it up for the Boston Celtics. There's the dish to Tatum. Pass to Walker. Back to Tatum. Celtics passing it around. To the middle. Here's Tice. Shock up two there. You know, some scouts thought Tatum had tunnel vision looking only for his own shot. 
but he's more about team. The 76ers trail by four. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Daniel Tice. That's his third foul of the game. He was hoping to avoid a third foul before the breakup. Now, he might have to sit out until halftime. Robert Williams, he's checked in for Jalen Brown. The 76ers also with a sub. Milton's checked in. Pass to Embiid. Shot to stop the run. Rebound, Boston. Williams has got four rebounds now tonight. Now here's Smart. Not a lot of room. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Smart's got the lead up to six now for the Celtics. Richardson against Smart. Simmons feeling it out of it. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Well, he's a real menace underneath. Once Simmons gets the established position, you basically have to whack him. He's shooting four for seven at the foul line in the game. That's good from Simmons. Green, he's checked in for the Celtics. Brad Wanamaker comes in for Walker. And Simmons drops them both. A minute 42 left to play here in the half. Wanamaker the pass to Williams. He kicks it to Smart. Outside Green. Misses the three. When he hit that one three point in the first quarter, still none so far here in the second. Simmons passes to MB. Outside for Simmons. And they double up Simmons. This is it to Milton. And they pick up two. Milton's got his first points of the night. Oh, doesn't have to break stride at all thanks to the money lead pass. Wanamaker the pass to Tatum. Williams looking around to the inside. And Smart with the basket on the assist by Williams. And that's 11 points for Marcus Smart. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Freibold, the pass to O'Quinn. Embiid with it. Guarded by Green. Cut it, and the Celtic lead has been cut down to two on the bucket from Embiid. Embiid's got eight points. Pick up the pace, get the two for one here. If that's how they want to end this quarter, they're going to have to score quickly. Over in the corner, Green. The shot, no good. Good D by Embiid. Here's Milton. Can't tie it up as that one misses. So that'll be it for the first half. Fairly even battle underway in this one. It's the Celtics leading by just two. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Here with Brad Stevens. Coach, what did you think of your team's energy in the first half? I think the energy's fine. I thought we did look a little gassed at the end of that first stint for some of our starters, but I thought for the most part it was good. Thanks very much, Coach. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, everybody. Halfway through this round one matchup of the NBA playoffs, Ernie Johnson, Kenny Smith, and Shaq. Taking a look at the Celtics, getting out to a 2-0 lead in the series would mean so much to them. And it looks like this game could go down to the wire trying to achieve that goal. 
This game is definitely still up for grabs the way these two teams are battling. Kenny, what's your take on Boston so far? Efficiency. You know, I, I think that's big. That's a key to success. you got to protect the basketball. You can't make those risky passes that lead to highlight film dunks. So I thought it was a great job. And over to Shaq, what did you think about Philadelphia? What impressed me the most was the effort they put into the offensive glass. The second chance points really added up for them. Fighting through box outs, battling for position, they own the offensive boards. And that's going to do it for our halftime show, sadly. Third quarter about to start. See you again after the final. Horn. Oh, buzzer. NBA playoff round one. Thanks for joining us as we get back to the action on the court. We've seen a tremendous game from Harris. He's done a fantastic job of finding open space to operate within the first few quarters. Yeah, the offense looks crisp, and guys are hitting their shots. And we're happy to have you back for more playoff basketball here in round one. Well, we've got a moment. Let's set the floor. Brought to you by Gatorade all fueled up for the second half. On the court for the Celtics. Brown and Hayworth, they're the wing. Jason Tatum is out there with Williams, and it's Walker in at the one. When Horford is driving hard to the rim, the, the defense has no choice but to try to wrap him up. It's tough to stop that six foot ten frame from rolling to the hoop. First trip to the line for him here. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw, no good. I mean, more and more recognition for all the things he does. Horford's finally gone from underrated to appreciated. Celtics making a switch here. Tice has checked in. Good on the second free throw. Walker with it. No good that time. Simmons with the defensive effort. 76ers trailing. Kicks it to Harris. And slam dunk by Harris. Oh, what a night for Tobias Harris. And he's capable of doing this. When he's right, he can carry it. Now, here's Walker, up high to stop the alley-oop. And not even three quarters out of the way. So many lead changes. The fan guys are getting their money's worth. Heck, I should have paid to watch this one. It's going to nail it. Here's Simmons, dishes it to Horford. To the paint, here's Harris. Good from the moment it left his hand. That makes him 10 for 14. I mean, he does things that other bigs simply can't. Horford, a phenomenal passer for his position. And there's the pass to Tice. And the call will be against Al Horford. That'll be his second foul of the game. Walker against Simmons. Up top, Walker. He's got 12. Yep, it counts. And Walker's handles are too nice. His dribbling too incredible. The way he handles the rock, just cutting into the heart of the defense with his move. Now here's Simmons. It's a one-point game. Richardson dishes to Simmons. Pass to Horford. Outside for Simmons. Lock at six. Shoots over Walker. Here's Embiid. The third shot of the possession finally falls for him. Embiid's got ten points in the game. 
That's three of four here to start the half. Brown the pass to Tice. Back to Brown. Outside, Walker. And the foul on Josh Richardson. That is his first foul of the game. Cantry checked in for the Celtics. Second half of play with just under two and a half minutes gone. Here's Walker with the three. It's hauled in by Harris. And it's Harris with the ball for the Philadelphia 76ers. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Embiid. And Embiid is right there. And it's a three-point Philadelphia lead. What timing on the offensive glass. Embiid, once the shot goes up, he gets into position for the putback. Here's Tice. Back to Brown. Down to five on the shot clock. Simmons with the defensive effort. And that is a textbook example of how to defend your rim. And that's why he's out there right now. In situations like this, he stands tall to prevent points. Now, here's Brown. Following the miss by Josh Richardson. Brown kicks to Walker. Three-pointer. Drains the three-pointer. Walker's got the game tied up here for Boston. That gives him two three-pointers for the game. One in each half. I mean, he may add to that total pretty soon. Richardson the pass to Simmons. Shoots over Walker. And it's Simmons. That time on the assist by Richardson. Simmons got 14 points for the game. Boston's gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. That's a two-pointer from Walker. That's good on the jump shot. Oh, he's got a roll in this quarter. Taking it on himself to guide their offense. Richardson kicks to Embiid. Richardson against Brown. Richardson attacking. Some solid defense from Brown. I'm a fan of anybody who defends that way. I mean, they weren't about to open the door and just allow him to cruise in for a layup. Now, here's Brown. Here's Cantor. And that won't go, missing the go-ahead bucket. For Philadelphia, they've gone 5 of 9 on field goal attempts since halftime. And Harris, wide open, he shoots. The basket good off the assist from Simmons. Simmons got his seventh assist in the game. Brown outside. And Embiid with the block. A stalwart on the defensive end. Embiid is superb at making his presence felt with blocks like that. Yeah, I mean, maybe could have tried for a more memorable dunk than that one. And we know he's capable of those memorable ones. And so it's Boston with it. 76ers getting the bucket. Here's Walker with the three. And Embiid pulls it down. Embiid's got ten rebounds here tonight. So active. It's Richardson on the wing. The three. And Cantor pulls it down. Cantor's got six rebounds now in the game. Hayward can't hit. The 76ers leading by five. And here's Harris from the arc. And the three ball is good. Harris has got 10 points now, just in this quarter. Some players might wear down during this kind of run. He's only been strong. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Now a timeout called by Boston. In addition to going over the game plan and making whatever necessary adjustments have to be made, Greg, this timeout also the time for players to get rehydrated or hydrate for the first time with some Gatorade. Plenty of basketball still to be played here, and they have to get recharged. That's a great point. Without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a, of a game, and that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have got to be hydrated.
and a new group in for the Celtics. Robert Williams is checked in for Daniel Tice. Green comes in for Gordon Hayward. Marcus Smart's checked in for Brown. And Brad Wanamaker subbed in for Kemba Walker. Now, here's Cantor. He's got six, and that one, good. Really, really good at recognizing the gaps and getting the ball to the rim. Pass to Perkmaz. Back to Burks. Down low, here's Hillis. Lost contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. And with the game he's having, there's no doubt he'll be the guy they lean on to protect the lead. He's gone two for two at the line so far. A free throw off from Harris. Celtics trail by eight. Green left side. Pass to Wanamaker. Cantor with it. Outside Williams. A pass to Wanamaker. On the three off target. The 76ers leading by eight. On the wing, Harris. Williams comes with the double team. Here's Korkmaz. It's stolen by Green. And up the court come the Celtics on the break. Solid play in the low block, and that one's good. Attacking in transition, the most consistent way to generate easy looks. Yeah, you can tell they love to get out and run the opportunities there. Now, here's Brooks. He's got eight. Bible, the pass to Harris, over Green, that one wide left. That's high quality defense right there. Reading the situation, reacting, and making that a very tough jump shot. Here's Wanamaker, and the foul on Alec Brooks. That'll be his second foul of the game. Shake Milton, he's checked in for the 76ers. And here is Green. Just five on the clock. The Celtics need to get a shot off. Lots at five from 18. Cantor's shot is off. You can't look at the result of that shot. They'll take that whenever they get it. You're exactly right. I mean, that's the kind of shot you're trying to work for at the offensive end. And Philadelphia making a change here. Embiid's checked in. And so it's Williams who brings it up for Boston. Count that one. They didn't have much of a problem getting the ball into the post that time. Kicks it to Burks. And James shot. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That's on Ennis Cantor. Free throw good, Burks. And Burks hits two free throws. Here's Smart. 11 points in the game. Pass to Williams. Tries again. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Well, he is a behemoth in the paint. Once Williams establishes himself, you almost have 
to foul. He shot two free throws in the game, made one and missed one. First one falls for him. Jason Tatum. He's checked in for Green. So one for two that time with the strike. And boy, have they been hitting the backboard in this game or what? Kind of surprising it's such a tight game. Oh, <laughs> sloppy finish. The D was giving him the layup. He just didn't stay with it. You know, something that Williams does so well as soon as he has inside position. He just goes for the finish. Count it. And Bede's got six points in the quarter. And just a step ahead of the D in that possession there, making the pass nice assist. Here's Wanamaker. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. It's going to go on Alec Burks. First free throw is good. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Here's Feibel. That one, no good. Williams with the defensive effort. To the paint. Nice pass. Right into the rack perfectly for the layup. Williams has got six. But showing that aggressive nature. Williams competes hard, doesn't back down, and won't let his opponent know he's not afraid of the contact. Now, here's Brooks. A fader. And yes, it's good. 12 points for him. Celtics trail by three. Pass to Cannon. It's hauled in by the 76ers. And Bede's got 11 rebounds in the game. And that one's good. Feibel. Oh, forget about three-pointers. Give me a look from right in tight. I'll take it all day long. Wanamaker the pass to Cannon. Outside Williams. Passes it to Wanamaker. Here's Cantor. Burks covering. Six to shoot. Cantor kicks to Williams. Here's Wanamaker. And it's off from three-point range. Here's Korkmaz. Williams with the block. And they get it back. Yes, that goes in. And not quite as aggressive from outside as they were in the first half. Sticking to the high percentage shots. Playing smart with the lead. Smart finds Kanner. Here's Wanamaker. Boston. No good that time either. The 76ers leading by seven. Over to the left wing. Here's the pass to fight. Loose. And that's out of bounds. Philadelphia will retain possession. Celtics making a switch here. Walker's checked in. 40 seconds left in the third quarter. Just five to shoot. Here's Thibel. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. 
And Walker's got the ball here for Boston. Tatum. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Tatum has a good feel for catching defenders off balance. I mean, we'll see what he can do at the line. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots at the game right here. The first one falls. Al Horford's checked in for Korkmaz. And so Tatum nails them both. So here's Burks. 12 points for him. He feeds it to Embiid. Good. Nice job down low. Embiid's got 10 points here in the second half. And he's starting to show that killer instinct this quarter, looking to extend the lead. Now here's Walker. 19 points in the game. Deep three-point range, and the last shot at the buzzer doesn't go in for him. And so it's the Philadelphia 76ers bringing the quarter to a close with a seven-point lead. And they've done a phenomenal job down low. So many of their points coming right at the rim. We'll get right back to the action when we return. And while we can now, let's take a look at today's State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter for him. Yeah, he put it on a platter, and it was served cold. Now, I love the poise, the decisiveness. This is how you run an offense. And we're with you again as our round one coverage continues. On the court for Philadelphia to start the fourth. The talented combo up front. Horford and MB. Then there's Alec Burks. And it's Milton in at the three. The small forward. Now here's Burks. Over Tatum. And the dunk by MB. The offensive game of the big fella. I mean, MB's game is so polished. That's why you can't let him get hot. Burks against Smart. Outside, Walker. Drills it from outside. Walker's got 22. And the three-pointers is becoming a weapon for him. You can see it. This is the second of his half. Third overall. Burks dishes to Embiid. Shoots over Kent. And that one hits back iron. And being that close to the hoop, I thought he had enough room to finish that one. Walker the pass to Cannon. The shot's good on the assist by Walker. That's 10 points for Ennis Cantor. That is prime time point guard play. A sensational find by Walker to set up the easy goal. Pass to Embiid. And here is Horth. He's covered by Cantor. Outside, Smart. And slam dunk by Smart. Now, the ability to play above the rim. Smart can definitely throw that. The 76ers lead it. Here's Feibel. Now, Burks. Pass to Milton. Here's Feibel. Fires from deep. Rebound, Boston. Cantor's got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. And thus far, they've managed to overcome an off game from him offensively. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. 
Pass it to Embiid. Shoots over Kansas. A nice shot by Embiid. Embiid's got 14 points now in the second half. Can't let Embiid get comfortable inside. When he's this close, he's adept at burning the defense. There's Walker with the three. That one doesn't drop. Now the 76ers take it the other way. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Austin making some changes. Daniel Tice comes in for Cantor. And it's Brown in for Marcus Smart. Richardson, he's checked in for the 76ers. Ben Simmons comes in for Burks. Richardson kicks to Horford. Back to Richardson. Inside. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. That's on Jalen Brown. Clearly a foul. Shoot two. That's good from Richardson. Tobias Harris is checked in for Philadelphia. And Richardson drops them both. Fourth quarter keeps moving right along. Three minutes gone so far. Here's Walker with the three. It's hauled in by the 76ers. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. Did you see the no-look pass by Harris right there? I mean, he's a wing that knows how to move the ball. Now, here's Walker. He dishes it to Hayward. Lays it up off the glass. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Now here's MD, defended by Tice. And Hayward with the block. A rare block shot by Gordon Hayward. He has the instincts to do more of this, but neither the suddenness nor the strength. He is a fantastic athlete for a power forward. Whatever he lacks in height, he makes up for with Hobbs. Here's Simmons. After the basket by Boston. The pass to Harris. There's the double team with Walker. Shot clock at six. A three from Simmons. And Tatum pulls it down. And here's Tatum. He'll bring it up for Boston. They've given up just eight points in the fourth quarter. Poked away, and that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Simmons. Here's Tice. Tatum trying to break free. The finish was nice, but the setup was better. Yeah, G.A., the pick working to full effect before the stuff. So yeah, coach is definitely pleased. That's the execution he loves to see. Outside, Simmons. Over Walker. Ben Simmons gets the bucket. Simmons got four points this quarter. And this is what you want to see from Simmons. I mean, you want to see him drain the ball in the in-between spots. It only makes him more confident. Walker against Simmons. To the inside. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And he knocks down the first one.
And so Tatum nails them both. Philadelphia's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Richards in the pass to Simmons. Feeds to Horford. It's rebounded by Tice. Tice has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. To the middle, here's Hayward. And Hayward with the stuff. And there's the athleticism. Hayward, he's proven he can get up and finish with power. And Philadelphia calls time here. And the talk at Mayor Huddle is going to be about taking care of the basketball. I mean, their turnover numbers are terrible. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, during the last break, I heard Brett Brown talking with his team. He said, look, you guys are playing physical, and I like that, but it has to be under control. We've committed way too many fouls. We've allowed way too many foul shots. Kevin? Trying to break that ice-cold streak, and it's Brown getting it to go. And now a four-point Celtic lead. Oh, you love the level of concentration Brown maintains in mean, taking the hit well and finishing the stop. Outside, Simmons. Shoots over Walker. Rebound, Boston. Tatum's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. A shot by Hayward, wide open. It's hauled in by Harris. Harris has got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. There's the dish to Simmons. Back to Harris. Shoots over Walker. Richardson gets a wide open look. Basket is good. The assist from Harris. Harris has got three assists tonight. Boston's gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. Simmons against Walker. Outside Tatum. Brown outside. It's hauled in by the 76ers. Embiid's got rebound number 17, if you can believe that. Down low. Lee Baz was put in just the right spot. Embiid's got six in the quarter. And so it's Walker with it who brings it up for the Boston Celtics. He kicks to Brown. Hayward from outside. Rebound by the 76ers. Here's Harris, gets the bucket, and the foul. It's going to go on Gordon Hayward. That's just the big boy muscle of Harris, a real energizer who just fights through contact on the shots. Celtics trail by four. Walker with it. Kicks it to Brown. Hayward on the wing. Guarded by Harris. Just five on the clock. Will it go? Some solid defense from Harris. He's been cold and it's been hurting him. D, I mean, was ready for him. He hasn't been able to solve it. Pass to Embiid. Richardson outside. From deep. 
The shot misses. And it's Boston the other way. Left side, Brown. Hayward from outside. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Here's Simmons. Made that one. It's his seventh of the contest. Seven for 15 from the floor. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. Count it. And the 76ers lead has been cut down. It gives four points with a bucket from Kemba Walker. The 76ers have gone 8 of 16 from the field in the fourth, exactly 50%. Now, here's Richardson. The hook out to the right wing. And Horford wide open. He shoots. No good on the triple. Boston's gotten some tough luck from three-point range. In the fourth quarter, they've hit just one of six from deep. Shots good by Walker. And that's what you got to love about Walker's fearlessness. He wants the ball in those big moments. Pass to Horford. Back to Simmons. And they double up B. Here's Horford. A three-pointer off the mark. One thing we've seen from these guys is excellent passing. No doubt about it. It's fun to watch the way they're operating as a team right now. They are all in sync. He's off on the first. That's off as well. So he misses both. That's not like him at all. He's been so steady up until then. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Oh, when, and when Harris is down deep, he's exceptional at being physical. Really puts defenders in a tough spot. Shoot two. That's good from Harris. One is no good. Celtics trail by three. Tatum deciding where to go with it. Over Richardson. Boston, no good that time either. And so Simmons will bring it up for Philadelphia. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. One fifty-seven left in the fourth quarter. On the way, Harris. Five to shoot. It's rebounded by Tice. Boston's getting some tough luck from three-point range. In the fourth quarter, they've hit just one of six from deep. A gigantic bucket. Brown stepping into the spotlight when it matters most. Drops. He ties it up. And really just a great rhythm at the line. Whether it's a big lead in the first quarter or with the game hanging in the balance. Now here's Simmons. Passes it to Embiid. Over tight. Embiid inside. Defended by tight. That 
one is good from Joel Embiid. Embiid's got 18 points just in the second half. I like seeing Embiid rise to the occasion. He knows how to capitalize during important stretches of game. Outside, Walker. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. Look, the more threes he misses, I mean, the more he wants to take. What do they do that at? That's not the right mindset. And they double up Simmons. Richardson. It counts. Oh, you just love seeing a player with absolutely no fear. Yeah, he approached that one with total confidence. He has what it takes to come through in the clutch. Now a timeout called by Boston. They're behind by four. There's 53 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. And now we get the chance to present our Jordan player of the game, Joel Embiid. And Kevin, it's a no-brainer. He's controlled every aspect of this game. And it's just so fun to see a player perform at a level that's just higher than anyone else out on the floor. There's 53 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Walker against Simmons. And stolen by Simmons. And so they choose to intentionally foul. This is the first one. Boy, he wanted that one to fall. And the second of two is good. That puts them up by five. And I'm sure he would like to have had all of those, but he's still able to pad the lead. They double team Walker. A kick out to Brown. There's 31 seconds left in the fourth. Six on the shot clock. Let's it go from 11. It's in! What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. Uh, and Brown is a reliable threat for mid-range. I mean, effortlessly rising up to a nice-looking jet. Had to foul him on that occasion to stop the clock. That's the enemy in this situation. Drops the first one, and that gives them a four-point cushion. Second one is good. Getting both at the line, and it's a five-point game. But if they get what they want out of that trip, or, you know, now a two-possession game. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. They trail by five. 20 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. What's your take, guys? Uh, trying to stay alive, they've got to work quickly. Yeah, yeah. Uh -uh. time is of the essence. Basket and the foul, that's got to be the game plan.
20 seconds left to play here in the fourth. Pulls up from the corner. Count it! Well, how about the quickness of that release? Brown just draining that catch-and-shoot jumper with ease. And Kemba Walker is going to pick up the foul. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he will sit for the rest of this game. And, and guys, this is where their depth really comes into play. They, they've got such talent at Take that break. position. They'd Take love up. to have him out there, but they won't suffer much of a drop-off. So the first one drops, and that gives them a four-point cushion. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a five-point game. And that's the knockout blow right there, guys. Those free throws should put this one away. Hayward from outside. Rebound by the 76ers. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. And so they foul intentionally. In the first of two, no good. Heartbreaker. And he ends up making the second, and that increases their lead to six. Here's Smart. In the corner, it's Hayward. So the 76ers win it. Just a massive victory, Greg. Maybe it's overstating it, but I think this was a game they had to have. And I don't think it's overstating it. I agree with you. I mean, going down 2-0 would have given this team a huge hill to climb. But now at one game apiece and with some momentum, this is anybody's series. Got a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Al. The coach mentioned he wanted to come into this building and do whatever was necessary to win. Did you think you guys had the intensity to get that done? Yeah, no question. I, I like the energy from our team from the beginning. Um, you know, uh, to be able to come in here and, and get a win like this, it, it feels good. Great row win tonight, Al. Thanks very much. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. And that about wraps it up for this broadcast of the NBA Eastern Conference quarterfinals. For Greg Anthony, Chris Weber, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA, presented by 2K Sports. So long and good night, everyone.